We can't ignore the reality that food is definitely moving in a plant-based direction. At The Plot, we kind of shoot to make plant-based dishes for everybody, not just a select group that calls themselves vegan. We like to do a bit of comfort food. We like to do things that we say things that shouldn't be vegan. For me, the fun of it is the experimentation and putting everything that we've learned to use. Plantains and yucca are amazing ingredients to be able to work with and further expand the spectrum of cool plant-based things. One of the things we do is the vegan chili cheese fries. We make the chili out of ground walnuts and mushroom stems, and then we use fried yucca for the fries. And then we top it with plant-based cheddar, another plant-based cheese, and fresh cut cilantro. One awesome thing about the yucca is not only do we use it to make our fries, but we also use it to thicken the chili. It's definitely cool to have a few products thrown in the mix that you can have a little fun with. MIC Foods plantains were perfect for our vegan Sonoran dog. We roll the plantain in zucchini bacon and we cook it over charcoal. We top it with plant-based chipotle aioli, pickled jalapenos and onions, plant-based kefo fresco, and fresh cut cilantro. And this is just a fun way to get people into the idea of eating plant-based food. I mean, who doesn't want an epic hot dog all the time? MIC Food Green Plantain Cups are the perfect little appetizer cups. We burn an onion and stuff it inside, and then we fill it with our top secret vegan crab. We have a smoky stone fruit sauce and a tomato with a little bit of micro cilantro. I've been known to make nigiri out of anything, so it only made sense to put a MIC Food barbecued plantain on sushi rice. The first step was to add chorizo seasoning and smoke it for about 20 minutes and then placed it on top of sushi rice, gave it a drizzle of miso mustard and some microgreens. This works because after smoking the plantain firms up nicely. The chorizo spice gave a little saltiness, the plantain lended just the right amount of sweetness and the smoke took it the rest of the way home. MIC food plantains come frozen at the peak of ripeness. All you gotta do is grab them and they're ready to go for any crazy idea you may have. We blended it with a little bit of sweet citrus salt, which is salt, sugar, and the zest of lime and lemon. We thickened it with a little bit of agar agar and let it set in a ramekin. We then brulee sugar over the top and garnished with mint and a raspberry, and it made a quick and easy plant-based creme brulee. We always try to do something fun different and explore new territory, whether it's ingredients, flavors, or applications. And using MIC food products were a great way to do that.